Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and to download the simulation model of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, we will talk about how to connect Arduino board with Simulink or in other sense, how to use Simulink in order to program the Arduino board. So, uh, this is our Arduino board which is connected to our computer via serial cable and let's open MATLAB. First, in MATLAB, uh, uh, we need to make sure like all the packages are installed so which can be uh, viewed from this command support package installer so this will open up the support package installer and uh, we can choose from uh, install from internet and here you need to check like for Arduino and make sure these two softwares are installed like this run models on Arduino boards this requires Simulink and for other one require matter so this support packet needs to be installed so it is already installed and you can uh, follow the procedure for installing it now once the support package installed now go to simulink and open a blank simulink model uh, we have opened up and let's uh, go to library and library uh, go to simulink support package for simulink test Simulink support package for Arduino hardware selected. You will get this window and go to common. And here uh, we will uh, demonstrate a simple example of LED on and off uh, for this video. And at upcoming video, we will talk about more uh, uh, on related to this Arduino board. We will select this digital output and we'll drag it here mm, we will change the pin number as this particular LED which is a GPIU pin is connected to pin number 13 so we'll change this to pin number 13 and apply and uh, now we'll select uh, because we want to uh, make it on and off so we'll select our pulse generator here and we'll put it on here and let's minimize it and we'll connect uh, uh, let's enhance this little bit we will connect uh, simply now it's done now we will do some settings this needs to be done uh, when we talk about uh, hardware interfacing to MATLAB so this should be connected to sample based and then uh, here sampling time needs to uh, uh, should be there so if we are putting a sample time of uh, 0.1 and uh, we are for 5 sample it is 1 and for 5 sample uh, total duration is 10 so we can easily estimate uh, by what frequency uh, this LED will flow and apply and then ok now prior to uh, downloading this particular code to the Arduino board uh, we need to do some changes in the model and those changes will be uh, go to tools bar and then select this run on target hardware and then prepare to run and it will open up a configuration block so in this configuration block uh, we need to select 
our board our board is Arduino Uno so we need to select it Arduino Uno and everything else will be uh, taken care of by the matter itself so let's uh, let MATLAB reinitialize itself one more uh, thing needs to be done is make sure well, let's complete make sure the solver configuration is uh, set to fixed state and then apply and then ok so now there is no need to go to the Arduino ID and write some code there just uh, put in place such blocks and programming will be done uh, by the MATLAB itself and once everything is ok just press this button that is deploy to hardware and now this model will be deployed to the hardware or the programming will be done automatically and this uh, LED will start glowing uh, the, at the rate which we have uh, set in this pulse generator so it's quite very easy uh, to do program this uh, Arduino board using uh, this one. so now this Arduino board becomes as a standalone uh, project and MATLAB is not directly communicating with the Arduino board so even if you close uh, switch, uh, uh, take it away the Arduino board the program will uh, remain there as it is so once it's done it will show up here. now programming is being done and once everything is done uh, this code generator report will pop up uh, you can close it and if you can uh, see in this video this LED is blinking at the rate which we have fixed to the pulse generator so let's try to change it and let's change the sample time to 0 0.01 and then let's see what happens and simply deploy to hardware so it's very easy you don't uh, have to go to the Arduino IDE and write many lines of code there reinitialize all the board all the time it's very easy uh, using similar now it is building up So it has been programmed but uh, the camera rate is not fixed uh, or through which we are capturing the video is not fixed so it is not visible clearly visible but uh, this blinking can be seen so let's try with different rate and let's say we have a uh, one sample time or one second of sample duration and then we will deploy it to the hardware. it's done uh, now you can see the blinking rate of this LED has been changed uh, from the previous one
So it's very easy to use Simlink and to interface this Arduino with the Simlink. I hope you understand how to uh, like write a program, how to make a model in Simlink and then deploy them to Arduino board. So that's it for this video. Thank you.